Welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel and today I'm going to talk about a professor called Alexander Schneerlman and his lectures on non-standard analysis. So let's begin. Now those of you who've been around long enough will know about Abraham Robinson, this particular gentleman here who uh, developed something called non-standard analysis, uh, supposedly a mathematical system, rigorous system defined by uh, infinitesimals and somehow reincorporated into modern mathematics. So uh, this guy was an absolute moron. He was educated at the Hebrew University uh, in Jerusalem and uh, his non-standard analysis is quite frankly uh, one of the biggest bowel movements in uh, mainstream mathematics. So I'm not going to waste too much time on him. I'd like to, I'm going to come back to this guy here, um, but I'd like to go straight to Alexander Schneerlman. So his series of lectures can be found here and I'm using uh, this particular browser because it doesn't have any advertisements. So now, uh, Alexander Schneerlman has a series of lectures. You could see them all here on non-standard analysis. Uh, he's uh, a Russian math academic. I do not call anybody a mathematician who hasn't produced great works. So uh, please note that uh, it doesn't matter if you have 500 PhDs you are not to call yourself either a mathematician or a scientist unless you have produced great works. Okay, so you can call yourself a math academic, that's fine, but you're no mathematician. Okay, you don't get to be a mathematician because you wrote an essay uh, from which you obtained your PhD or whatever. Okay, because uh, quite frankly, most PhDs are not worth the paper they're written on. And I'm not going to spend any more time on it. But so the first thing I'd like to uh, talk about is uh, how uh, Schneidelman begins. He says at 2, let's just go here, at 2.27, at 2.27, he says, uh, let's just go, let's, let's, let's uh, listen to it. So, so Schneerlman. Okay, so uh, he says, let's introduce dx. Vich is an infinitesimal. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist that. <clears throat> and then he utters some gibberish, but smaller than any positive real number. So, so you have uh, this uh, concept being thrown out about an infinitesimal, which is really meaningless garbage. And uh, the definition is that it's greater than zero, but smaller than any positive real number. So uh, you'll, you'll see that the concept, even from the very beginning, is entirely unsound and flawed nonsense. Okay, so there is no such thing. You cannot reify it according to my well-formed principles. And I am smarter than anyone else. So... Uh, you would be wise if you actually read my article on what it means for a concept to be well-defined. So in any case, then he continues on later on and he says uh, roughly at a, around uh, seven minute mark, the mystery here is that there is a hidden world of infinitesimals. Okay, so not to waste time on his garbage because uh, he can barely speak English properly and he's, uh, he stutters and he ums and ahs, etc. Uh, in any case, this whole theory is implemented as an ultra filter in set, in set theory. And I can show you in my debate with uh, Arthur Rubin, this is the gentleman here with his parrot, lived in his mother's basement until she died and then his father died. Uh, the guy's an absolute creep, by the way, and I wouldn't call him a mathematician, not even by any stretch of the word. But in any case, he's now incidentally retired <laughs> for the reason that uh, this user is no longer active on Wikipedia because of hostile editing environment. 
But if you take a look at how I debated with him on this infinitesimal page many years ago, uh, you'll see that one of the most hostile people is Arthur Rubin, uh, a privileged, uh, snotty little Jew, fat Jew, who basically disdains everyone he speaks to and uh, uh, doesn't care about uh, even trying to understand the viewpoint of the interlocutor. So uh, Ruben thinks that there is a little subset in the interval zero one, which is uh, an ultra, which is created through ultra filters and in the hyperreals as an ultra product. And he calls it the, the Levi Civita field. Okay, <laughs> so, I mean, obviously fields are also garbage in mainstream mathematics because they're, they're constructs that are uh, very, very uh, rigid and they can break easily, especially as they do in set theory. So in any case, uh, there is this little subset, and here I, I address it. I say, uh, in fact, you can call your subset, which is ill-defined because it has no lub or least upper bound of infinitesimal Rubens, if you like, but it does not change the fact that it's all feces. There is absolutely zero relation between your abstract little set and infinitesimals in the traditional meaning thereof. And, and so in, in plain words, really, it's a load of rubbish. But uh, if you have a PhD, you can publish this rubbish, as did Abraham Robinson, who was really not even a mathematician's arse, excuse my language, okay? So, <clears throat> um, then this whole page it goes back and forth where Ruben tries to uh, refute my new calculus which is not even the topic of discussion, but he's trying to make a, uh, you know, make it seem that I don't know what I'm talking about when in actual fact I do. And you can read this talk page and, you know, so I, I've showed over and over again that the levi Savita field definition assumes epsilon is an infinitesimal in his definition. This is how he defines it as a subfield. And it does not define an infinitesimal also, the definition is circular. So it's a misnomer because it follows from Cauchy's wrong ideas regarding infinitesimals. And of course, Weistras and all the other morons that were in cahoots with Cauchy. So uh, he, he, he thought that it could be defined, but he couldn't show me one instance. This is all he could do. So he says, if I recall correctly, uh, the definition of addition and multiplication. By the way, this is just a standard field, which is meaningless garbage. It's just a definition that doesn't really uh, mean anything in particular. But this is basically his definition, and he decides, well, that he's going to call uh, his field R of epsilon in these parentheses, and uh, a subset which contains all the infinitesimals, okay? So, my word, there is so much garbage here in this uh, discussion, and you can read it and see what I mean, that the bane of my existence are stupid academics. So, not to waste any more time on Arthur Rubin, uh, because he's a nobody, and he never, even though he apparently won some competition in the Putnam, uh, events, he really hasn't done anything in mathematics. So, uh, so the next part of uh, Schnurlman's uh, first lecture on non-standard analysis is, is that he mentions the Archimedean property. And of course, he, he writes it down completely wrong. Um, because the Archimedean property states that if x is any magnitude, whether it be commensurable or incommensurable, so if it's commensurable, it has to be a, a rational number. If it's incommensurable, then it means it is an incommensurable magnitude for which there is no number to describe the same, okay? So it says that if X is any magnitude, then there exist rational numbers, or, or I'm sorry, they, they exist, uh, yeah, rational numbers or commensurable magnitudes, M and N, such that X lies 
between M and N. So that is what the Archimedean property says. And he, he doesn't understand it. But what happens then is that in subsequent lectures, he goes through and he obviously, and there are a lot of them, by the way, imagine listening to this guy for an hour at a time and through 25 lectures. My word. Okay, so... Uh, so what I'm, I'm telling you is that you have to be very, very, very careful what you choose to uh, follow in your study of mathematics. This, my friends, is not mathematics. It's anti-mathematical nonsense. And I'm warning you about it. Um, their non-standard analysis basically is a bunch of hokey pokey, right? There is no... Uh, non-standard analysis that can be taken seriously. It's not even analysis. It's it's Jewish mythology. Okay. All right. So I hope you've enjoyed this little presentation. And I just wanted to warn you about it and hope that you will join me again at some future time on the new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel and and until next time, folks, goodbye.